Hello, I am Chris Menard. This video is going to cover the end of month function in Microsoft Excel. It is a great date and time function. It is also part of my Microsoft Excel online training course. There's a link to the course down below in the description. Let's dive in right now. Over in column B, I've got a lot of dates typed. I want to figure out what is the last day of every month. I'm in cell C2. There is the end of month function. When I hit tab, it's got two arguments. Argument one is what start date do you want? For me, that is cell B2. The second argument is also required. How many months do you want to look? In this example, I will do a zero because I want to stay inside of this month. Control enter. Just by chance, if you get a number here in cell C2, just go change it to a short date, which I have already done. Autofill, pull down or double click. And there you go. Look at column B, look at column C. Everything is correct and perfect right there. And by the way, this year is a leap year in row five. So, so now can I do the end of month? and go forward. Sure. And then I'm going to go back. So one more time equals EOM B2 comma. If I want to look into the next month, I would do a one. Notice it went to 229 right there. But I actually want to show you that you can go back. That's why D1 says EOM with minus. I'm just going to edit this. So instead of doing a zero for the current month or a one for the next month, I'm going to do a negative one. And here we go. Now we went back a month and found the last day of the month. So I'm going to leave that up on the screen right there. Just to help you follow along down below here, I will use my favorite, one of my favorite functions now, the formula text function, just to keep up with this. There you go. Can you do years? Yes, this is somewhat of a workaround that I'm going to do. I'm going to keep this simple. If I want to look out one year, that'll be 12 months. I'll put the number 12 in here. Two years would be 24. Three years would be 36. If you wanted to do the math, you could put in here 12 times three. So this will be three years out. And that will take us to the year 2027. Perfect working great there. Here's a cool one for you. This last one's going to be really cool. What if... I want to go to find the first day of the month. To my knowledge, there's almost 500 functions in Excel. There is no function to find the very first day of the month, but let's use EOM to do it. Still taking this date, comma, how many months? Let's go negative one. We've already seen this. That'll take me back to December 31st, 2023. So then let's just add one day because EOM will take you back to the last day. Just pop in a day in there, January 1, 2024. Every one of these should be the first, by the way. Perfect. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe, ring the bell, and sign up for my online Excel training course if you want to. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.